We have Divura Williams joining us today. Divura, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you. <laughs> so Divura is working with mental health and youth, and it is yes. a very interesting topic called the unknown and the known. And she has mm-hmm. an initiative called Williams Divora Initiative. So Divora, do you want to tell my viewers about what is this initiative all about? Okay, so the Divora Williams Initiative is a mental health advocacy group. Okay. And majorly, what we're about is creating awareness for mental health, okay. mental health issues, and how to deal with them in general. <laughs> Okay. And Divura, do you want to tell the viewers why did you start this initiative? What was the reason behind the story behind the initiative? Okay. So growing up, I have three siblings. Okay. Yeah. But I, I, I didn't have a mature ground to communicate with my siblings on general things, on life generally. Okay. It was everybody for themselves and I had to keep majority of those things to myself. I didn't know much about how to navigate life. And when I had a very serious challenge, I became withdrawn. I was so uninterested about a lot of things and there was nobody really to put me through all of those things. It became a major inspiration when I started seeing young people who who tend to find themselves also in this phase and do not know how to go about it. And of course, 2020, the Corona period, it was so, it was a lot to deal with. A lot of people had to stay home because we couldn't go out. Everybody was on lockdown. So the pressure was too much on especially extroverted people and they became isolated and they became depressed. So I felt I had always had the nudge to go ahead with this. So why not do it now? And that was why we had to start off the initiative. Yeah, I think you just recently restarted it. You had topped in between. What was the reason? Were we going through some challenges and you want to talk about that? I had a mental breakdown myself and I knew I had to be in the right frame of mind before I could put people through certain things. So I had to go on the break. It was needed. If I didn't, I would be in the, I would be in a very bad frame of mind and I would have still been putting people through. I might have led them in the wrong way. So I didn't want that to happen. I had to take care of my mind first before I can put myself out there for other people. And I had a lot of encounters with suicide attempts of people. So it took a toll on me and that's why I had to go low. Okay. All right. Yes. They would have, do you want to talk to my viewers about what do you mean by the unknown and the known? Okay. So a lot of people actually think that they know what mental health is but they don't. Yes. In in reality, what we the okay, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, we are very set of superstitious people. <laughs> okay? So, just the mention of mental health, they think about madness, a psychological problem. Yeah. They think of your village people if you've ever heard of that. Okay. And it is such a wrong term. It is such a wrong meaning that they've attached to it. So a lot of people think they know what mental health is, but they don't. And this this clarification has to be made in order for people not to be led astray. Yes. Do you understand? So when what mental health is not, it is not a spiritual problem. Yeah. Mental health is not is not is not always negative. Yes. True. Yeah. Mental health is a state of well-being. Yeah. Everybody has a mind. Yeah. As long as you have a mind, you have a mental health. Yes. True. Mental health is like your physical health. Yes. As much as you keep fit, you eat right, you exercise, you do things that make your body feel good you also have to do these things for your mental health yes true but but majority of us don't even know we feel as long as i'm fit i'm eating good food 
I'm enjoying the luxury things of life. It really doesn't matter. Yes. But it does. Because what happened during the corona period, period last year was that a lot of people did not know what the mental health was all about. So when they became isolated and when they became, they, they, they went down, they thought it was a very negative thing and it was all in their head. Yeah. You get? So the reason why I put a lot of attention to this is because it doesn't matter what state your physical health is. If your mind is not in the right frame, it would do a lot of damage to you as a person. Yes. It would affect your relationship with people. It would affect your communication skills. It would affect your work. And it might even affect your lifestyle in general. Yes, true. So so that is why I try to place a lot of attention on what mental health is and what mental health is not. Yes. Now, the, the term mental health and mental health illness is like the most, the most abused word because it is easily interchangeable but it is completely wrong yeah true very true yeah so mental health is your state of well-being the state of well-being of your mind yes but mental health illness is now when your mental health state is not in the right state it's like your physical health i'm fit i well i keep fit but then i have malaria malaria is the illness yes so our mental our state of wellness in the mind sometimes develop issues that we need to address right now that is where the issue is that is the mental health illness it is not the mental health itself yeah yeah so there were a lot of mental health illnesses a lot of mental health disorders and sometimes funny they're like the slightest the smallest of things that we don't even want to pay attention to yeah so there is there is anxiety yeah there is there are panic attacks you yeah. just something just happens and you're just in the state of fidgeting you don't know what is wrong but you're just afraid you're very scared and sometimes this comes with physical attributes like your hands suddenly shaky and i mean i i wish that a lot of people would pay attention to the state of their mind and so they can easily observe when something goes wrong yeah true so i am an overthinker yeah it's a it's a disorder i know that i am an overthinker but the good thing about it for me is that i've come to learn how it works i have come to learn how to navigate that energy in a positive way yes. so i don't overthink to keep myself depressed i don't overthink to give myself unnecessary agitation when i overthink i probably use it to you know find solutions to existing problems and help the world at large not put myself in some dark corners keeping myself depressed yeah. do you understand yeah so a, a lot of people need to watch it yeah you can be you can be afraid and you think it's normal but it gets to a point where it's no longer normal it becomes a disorder and you need to look at it you need to get it checked true, true. yeah very true so i have a next question for you tell me how okay. how do you deal with it how do you keep yourself positive okay so let's just say i had a privilege so many people do not yeah and this is the privilege that i have wonderful people in my circle okay. very positive set of people Okay. So, it usually starts with a mood swing. You get? So, one moment you're happy and the other you just feel down. Yeah. Really down. Yeah. You don't know what is wrong, you don't know what happened, but you know that something is wrong now. Yeah. And if you're not very careful from there, you keep doing things that make you stay down. Yeah. You listen to gloomy music. <laughs> Our generation likes gloomy music. Yeah. <laughs> so you listen to gloomy music or, or heartbreak song that keeps you still down and then um, you just keep revolving around in the same circle. Yeah. 
there's yeah. nobody to help you you're not speaking to anybody maybe when a close friend of staffs you're like and they're like what's wrong with you and they're like oh I'm fine it's nothing yeah but deep down deep inside you know you're not fine so this is what i do yeah when i sleep into a mood swing almost immediately i listen to music but i don't listen to gloomy music okay so lived in music so i rather good choice i have my favorites i there's a spoken there's maverick city so i just i just find something that i know that i can connect with at that moment but not to stay down yeah. okay the purpose of it is to find something that lifts my soul back to the positive and energy field yeah so if it's not music i like to dance i i plug in my headphones and i i, I can exercise i skip or just do any form of workout routine or most importantly if you're inside the house you need to get out of the house okay <laughs> look for your friends the the life of the party wants that's what we call them the life of the party one dabby luller is a life of the party friend that i have and we just one phone call where are you and they can they can hear it in your voice it's so amazing that there are some amazing people that they really know you so once something is wrong they know something is wrong yeah keep those people in your circle they will be very helpful in your mental health journey they help you to stay positive at that time what you need might be a word of affirmation to make you remember that you're beautiful that you're hard working you have your life put together it's going well and all of these things all of these things do magic they lift your soul and really that is everything you need something to lift your soul when your heart you're happy again yeah but once that happens you need to start making an observation what triggers it how can you avoid what triggers it yes So it is better to to prevent it than to later find a cure for it. I think prevention works better. Yeah. True. Yeah. So thank you so much Devora for joining me today on this thank wonderful, you. Your wonderful journey and good luck with that. I think you're doing a fantastic work and a lot of women from around the world who are listening to this interview would be you know very very inspired by your talk. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me and you're doing an amazing work yourself. Thank you. So if you guys are viewing this channel for the first time and you're not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. We have amazing girls like Devura on this platform on a regular basis. Devura have a fantastic weekend. You too, Julie.